Hey, 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 what's up, Facebook Live? Joe, bye. There we go. That should be working all right. I was definitely triggered. I was definitely feeling overwhelmed. A lot of stuff going on here. Getting ready to travel tomorrow. Ton of stuff to get buttoned up. I was doing some paperwork. Last minute this, last minute that. The next thing you know, we're running down to the property, throwing in some windows. Put about six windows in today at the flip property down here. Had some stuff going on with surveyors for flip property number three. Looking to have a conversation with another guy that's interested in building veteran homes. Had all this stuff going on in my mind. Ran down last minute to the job site. I was meeting a guy we were interviewing down there for potentially working with us, doing some flip house. Always looking for some help, some good help. Good to see you guys logging. I see Georgia over there. What's up, Phil? Good to see you guys. Hello, Gene. I was looking at your photos today, Gene. Love to see you breaking through. Hello, Gene. And we're sorry we didn't get a chance to see you when we're up in Connecticut. We will be back in a couple of weeks. But tomorrow I'm flying down to Fort Myers, Florida. I will be on the local news station down there, Fox 4, talking about the Rise as One Foundation, talking about real estate investing, and the Rise as One, the spiritual awakening book that we launched last June. But today I was definitely overwhelmed. I was definitely triggered. One of my number one triggers. And post below, Tina. What's your number one trigger, Pat Gannon? Hello, Aunt Karen. Good to see you. We missed you when we were up in Connecticut. What's your number one trigger? Post below. My number one trigger is when I'm hungry. It goes for a lot of men. When I'm hungry, I get triggered. So I came home from the job site today. I was hungry and I was short with Kathy. And what did she do? Give me a boom, swift kick right in the old groin area. And she wasn't going to help me out do any of my stuff. She was here trying to work on some stuff for arrangements for mom and all this stuff. And she's going out of her way to help me. But I was so triggered, and because I was hungry. I was like, man, I got to eat something. I've been going 100 miles an hour here for the last three days. You saw yesterday we drove back from Connecticut, ran over to the ABC supply house before they closed up, picked up 13 windows, drove them to this job site, dropped them off. We installed six of those windows today in about two and a half hours. I was coaching people how to get that done. Hello, Maria. Thank you for the phone call, Maria. I owe you a phone call. I will definitely catch up with you. We'll come see you guys when we come back to Connecticut in a couple weeks. Thank you guys for all the love. Thank you for all the shout outs. Thank you for all the prayers. And um, overwhelmed. I mean, how many times do we feel overwhelmed? So much going on. I gotta take the kids over here. I gotta make lunches over here. I gotta take the husband over here. I gotta go to doctor's appointment. You got all this stuff, and the mind starts creating this feeling of not enough time. And when you have not enough time, what is the shortness of breath? We start taking these short breaths. So, whenever you start to feel overwhelmed coming on, number one thing, breathe. Take a deep breath out. Whenever you take a deep breath out, you're forced to take a deep breath in. And that's really going to help you with those feelings of overwhelm. And we all get there. And I was so triggered today. So between triggered from being hungry, overwhelmed, I'm not enough time. i got to pack my bags again, jump on the airplane tomorrow, fly down to Florida, and all this stuff going on. i got to get this flip house over here done. i got flip house number three. You got the surveyor coming here in the front yard for the veteran homes we're going to build in the front yard. And all this stuff, my mind started going like this. And I was feeling the overwhelm and I was taking these short breaths. And every time you take a short breath, it's like that panic attack. <laughs> we start creating this feeling inside of our body. So make sure when you start to feel that coming on and you start getting triggered, long breath out. <sighs> and visualize that energy being released from your body. Because I know we're all, we've all been there before and we're all going to be there again. Especially with all this craziness coming up here very here shortly. I know some stuff's going to get ready to go down here coming closer to this election time. So all we have to do is be certain in the middle of the storm, Ronnie Young. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, Chris, tomorrow. So I'm going to see what happens here with our, our travel plans down here. I got most of my stuff done here. I, I was up late last night. I think I took like a power nap like around 10 o'clock and I was up to like 3.30 this morning. By the time I went back to bed and got up again at 7 o'clock and we went all day long. Good to see you, Mary. We were over walking by your house again, Mary, the other day. Going by the property looks beautiful. They had a nice backyard over there. Weindorf Lane in Danbury. So we were over there hiking around there with the dogs up and down that mountainside. Absolutely enjoyed it. I can feel my feet today. I was over at the antique shop for Ancapis. We were getting ready to put that house on the market. I think we had two showings already yesterday, first day on the market. So I know I was standing on my feet. We got 10 hours straight. And then another day, it was 10 hours straight. We were playing some horseshoes with Skip and Monty and Mikey up there at the top of the mountain, Squan's Pond. 
So it's time for me to get on the airplane, sit still for a little bit. I'm going to get down to Tampa. I'm going to go visit with my dad down there, go play some golf. Looking forward to playing a little golf in Florida, Dad. So when you watch this, looking forward to seeing you and Kay down there. Looking forward to riding his trike. My dad picked up a trike. Here's a guy 82 years old. He's on three softball teams. He went and played a doubleheader the other day. Then he went and played 18 holes of golf, and he goes bowling on Fridays. At 82 years old, he just won't stop. Like I said, we, we're just getting started in our 50s. This guy's at 80 years old still doing that stuff. What, what's our excuse? We have no excuse. We have no excuse to be overwhelmed because all it is is the mind playing tricks on us. It's creating this shortness of time. We get anxious. We get shortness of breath. We feel the overwhelm. We feel there's not enough time to do any of this stuff. And all of a sudden, before we know it, we're not breathing. We're holding our breath. And it creates this fight or flight response in the body. And the body's always going to respond by the feelings of overwhelms and trigger. So I came home today. I was so triggered. I was hungry. I was overwhelmed. I walked in. I said, Kat, any five minutes. And I was short with her. And she let me have it. Kicked me in the groin. I said, all right. I went, to, went away like a dog with his tail between his legs. Yipe, yipe, yipe. Went into the bedroom. I said, I'm doing a five-minute meditation. Leave me alone. I have to go get my stuff recentered and refocused right here because I got so much to get done here. And we all go through this. So know that whenever you're feeling those feelings of overwhelm and not enough time, not enough money, not enough love, not enough connection, take a long, deep breath out. And you can almost feel that energy leaving the body because everything is energy. As we let that energy go, you allow the space for calm to come back in. Those deep breaths, that yoga breathing, and all these modalities that we use every single day in these meditations, they work. They work for you, they work for me, they work for anybody that wants to put them into use. But we have a choice to start using those every single day and know these tools in our toolbox to let go of some of that fear. Let's go to some of that doubt, letting go of some of that anxiety. Because every day there's always going to be this illusion in our minds trying to create not enough. But there's always enough. So good to see everybody logging on here. Good to see you, Kim. Hope you guys had a blessed and fantastic Tuesday. I'm going in here to pack up my bags. We're going to be on the road again. It's like the old song says, I'm on the road again. And that's where we're going. So appreciate you guys. I love you. I honor you. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for all the prayers. And when it's all said and done, our time has come to rise as one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a blessed and fantastic evening. Peace.